it's MK and I am here for Mixed Media Mayhem and to, <laughs> this month we are starting something a little bit different. So instead of scrap lifting somebody, we are actually pulling together one person out of the Mixed Media Mayhem group is picking out uh, kind of like a grab five. Instead, Sandy chose three p things, paint, tissue paper, and embossing and embossing. I decided to use an embossing folder for this one. I know that's not the embossing that she had in mind, but for me, embossing is kind of like uh, my my uh, kryptonite. And so I'm not interested in the powder embossing stuff. I don't do it. So anyways, I pulled out this cut file that I had loosely designed after the one of these um, balloons that I have in my photos. And then one of the photos, it was so dark that it's kind of fuzzy. I know I say kind of a lot. I apologize about that, you guys. Um, I actually had a comment about the fact that I said kind of like 10 times within the first one minute. And I apologize about that. Uh, anyways, so it is kind of a little fuzzy. I've got my tissue paper that is this really cool constellation. And this is the paint that I will be using, which is just white acrylic called titanium white. And then I'm going to kind of talk about a little bit more of these magic stars. These are the punches that I bragged about a lot last month uh, because I borrowed them from Janet at a retreat and fell in love with them, had to have them. I finally received them and now I will be using them. I'm so, so excited. Okay, I'm gonna gut my close to my heart cardstock that I have right here really quick and use that as my photo mat, but it's also going to be used as my base page for the entire layout. And then I'm just gonna cover the whole thing in tissue paper once I am done. So quickly, I'm gonna go around and put about an eighth of an inch of border around both of my photos. Just left it in there to show you guys how I was doing. I apologize about my main light being so obnoxious right in the middle of my glass mat. I'm actually contacting the company to see if I can't get a frosted uh, sample to see if I can use mixed media on frosted glass because I think frosted would look really good underneath all of my lights. Okay, so I'm going to roughly rip and tear my tissue paper. So it is about, I want to say 10 inches, but I think it's a little less. And then I'm going to take my water brush which I couldn't get to work this brand new water brush, but it's a wide brush. So it's, it's about a half an inch thick and I'm going to loosely put a bunch of water on the side so that way I can have a not so perfect tear in it. Now, when I use my ruler, the, the tear is absolutely perfect. And I did not want, um, I didn't want that beautiful, perfect tear. I, I wanted something a little bit more, uh, unpronounced, I guess I should say. I, I don't, you, I'm having such a hard time with words these days. I don't understand that. <laughs> so anyways, once I am done, I'm going to dry my mat off because it was rather wet where I squeezed it a little bit too hard. Now I'm going to paint on my cardstock and I'm going to use the paint as my glue as well. So this is brand new paint to me. I've never used it before. I want to give it a try. I'm going to start with the center and then work my way out. Uh, it's kind of like um, one of those squeeze bottles too. I don't like the crusties around the edge when you when you leave it on there, close it, and then don't get back to it for a couple days. Then you open it and it's all crusty. I don't like those either. So I use my finger to wipe it up. Okay, I'm going to fan brush all of this paint out to the edge of it. And I wasn't sure exactly how far I wanted to go, but I knew I wanted it to extend past my acrylic paint. At, you know, in all honesty, I had no idea where I was going to go with this entire layout at all. I have more paint on one side than I do the other. So I'm just trying to disperse the paint evenly, but yet I still want it to look like it's bursted out from behind my acrylic or from behind my tissue paper. Now here's where I'm just going to use that acrylic paint as the glue. And then I'm going to blend in my edges on the tissue paper. So that way they don't, it's more, um, well, blended. <laughs> So that way it's more blended instead of just that harsh crisp from blue to white type of deal. So yeah, that is what I am doing. I had a blast actually making this layout, even though I liked it and then I was thinking about it. I don't really like that big old square. So I'm going to go back to my paint and paint 
inward. And now I'll have those brush strokes coming into my tissue paper and it actually blends out a lot better than I was expecting. Now this does take quite a bit of time to do because I'm, I'm, well, back when I used to do ceramics, they called this dry brushing. Your paint is very, very dry. It has very little paint on it. And um, because I was dry brushing, I needed to constantly keep reapplying the ink to my brush because I didn't want too much paint on there. But it also was drying so fast that I wasn't getting that stark white look because it was soaking into the paper. So I did have to go back a few times and do a couple more layers and whatnot. Okay. I love using the paint as the glue for my tissue paper because of the fact that it does not, um, it doesn't, like if I used my advanced, um, you know, my ATG, I'm reading it, so that's why I started with saying the word advanced. How fun. Uh, if I was using my ATG, it would have po potentially rip, uh, ripped my tissue paper. So I love using um, wet medium to put my tissue paper down. Plus the fact that, in, in all honesty, I like, I like the, the ripples in it, the, the, so it doesn't lay down perfectly fat, flat. So I like all of that stuff. Okay. I took my vellum piece of paper, ran it through my, uh, embossing folder, and I'm going to put my clouds on. I, off camera, I filled in all of the papers for my hot air balloon. I just wasn't sure whether or not I wanted um, to show that because that really doesn't have anything to do with mixed media, but the tissue paper did because it was part of the assignment, right? I had to use, uh, embossing. And so I did, I, I love, love using an embossing folder on tissue, on, um, vellum paper. I just absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things. I just don't do it very often. Um, in fact, I had to dust off. <laughs> <laughs> my embossing folders. How sad. Okay, so these are the decoup or decoup um, punches that I used at the retreat. They are Janet's punches. I ordered my own set and I was going to show you guys the magic part of this is that little TP inside the punch. Now you can't see the other side like a normal punch. It is a solid punch, but if you punch hard enough, um, and actually it doesn't take any effort whatsoever, but if you punch down, that little TP pierces the paper and makes it into a 3D little star. I absolutely love these punches. I have one that is a one inch punch and the other one is a one and a quarter inch punch. They sound huge when you say it that way, but they are absolutely the perfect size for any layout. And I am just uh, off camera, what you guys can't see is I am holding it towards me so I can see in between and get my page as close to the edge of the star as possible. So that way I'm able to get four stars on this, on these scraps of um, paper. So that's all I'm doing off camera is making sure. And I punched a bunch of extra. I doubt I will use this many on the layout. Forgot to zoom out because that is what I'm famous for. This is why I don't zoom in. <laughs> And I'm just um, trying to put my hot air balloon to where it covers up that moon because my hot air balloon came with a moon and that just doesn't make sense. But I love all the little um, other prints that were on this paper. And I thought, okay, I'm going to have this uh, sun looking star, we'll call it a star, peek out behind my cloud and then this one behind my... Um, my hot air balloon, and then this one behind my title. Now my title is called Night Burn, and actually it's not nighttime. It's early, early, uber early in the morning. Now if you guys all know me, I get up at about, well, I'm, I'm in the shower by 3 a.m., and it doesn't turn daylight until about 5.30 here, sometimes 5.15 in the summertime. There's a couple days it, it's 5.15, but uh, in October and September, where um, our balloon festival is, it's actually not until almost 637 that it gets daylight. And so all of the hot air balloons are heated up and lit up and they just are fab fabulous, you guys. And so I love running over to, um, it's just called the sports arena, um, where we have our, our soccer games, baseball games, football games, all that stuff for the littles. Um, and so I love running over there real quick. It's just um, probably about two miles down the road and 
take photos. So some of the photos turn out really, really well. Others, they just turn out a little slightly blurry, like that upper photo um, where I was trying to get the actual burn where they were, where they were putting more propane into the hot air balloon. Um, it, it did blur because I zoomed in. I wasn't that close to the balloons. I, I was actually far away and it, I, by chance I looked over and he was burning it. And so or burning, you know, burning his propane. And I thought, oh my gosh, perfect. And I zoomed in and clicked because I knew by the time I walked over there, there was no way I was going to be, he was still going to be doing that. So anyways, just one of the fun things that I love about, um, you know, what we do here, the events that we have in our little town. Um, I've, I've seen other people post larger hot air balloon events in their town. I get it, but I, it's just, I enjoy it. It is so fun waking up in the morning and somebody has landed in our side yard um, because they, they took their balloon out for a ride that morning. It is just so fun. And it is usually at, you know, starting September in a, into October is when we get to see the balloons. All right, you guys, that is my layout for today. Thank you so very, very much for hanging out with me. Please be sure to check out everyone else that played along with Mixed Media Mayhem. Like I said, it is a little bit different, so not everybody is going to be doing the exact same thing, but we will be pulling out paint, tissue paper, and embossing of some sort to use on our layouts. And I love this because then we have the creative freedom to do what we want with the layout instead of always lifting someone. So I really do like this and I hope you guys like the change to Mixed Media Mayhem that we have done. Please put in the comments below of what you guys think about the change. Let us know or what you guys look forward to when you guys click onto a Mixed Media Mayhem uh, video to watch. What What is it that you guys are looking for? So anyways, thank you so much and I will check y'all later.